Stein yeah, well, I mean, can make a movie about these guys just like he did. Yeah. Did you see Hi, Dr. Spencer. Yeah. Do you mind if I get a word with you? Discovery okay, just a second. Yeah. Okay. Howdy. Hey. Dr. Spencer, Connor Gibson. I work with Greenpeace. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about your current work? Uh, I don't know. Can I ask what you're working on currently? I, I know you've been, you've been in, a, in this, these circles for quite a while at a lot of the international conferences on climate change um, and celebrated yeah, for the research here. I've been before you were a gleam in the old man's eye. <laughs> and what are you finding now? What's the latest research? spent the last three years uh, spending a lot of time making our new satellite data set, completely redoing a lot of our procedures so that we think they're better. Uh, so we have a new satellite global temperature data set. So that's what I talked about here. What is it going to, what do you hope it'll add to the conversation? Uh, well, it supported remote sensing systems, you know, the other satellite data set, which was, showed that it hadn't warmed in 18 years. We showed a little bit of warming, and now both data sets show, like, essentially no warming. Hmm. So, yeah, that's what we do, is we continue to monitor the climate and report the results every month. The elephant in the room for me. Okay. If, 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 I, if I'm skeptical of your data set, mm -hmm. based on some of your history, um, you know, other scientists calling data that you've published into question, um, having to retract certain things from papers. What, will, I, will, I be, from papers. Will, will I be a Nazi in your eyes? Am I a Nazi in your eyes? No. So what, what of the big sensation blog that you put up where you said, um, anybody that believes in climate change is a global warming that's Nazi? That's because I got tired of being called a global warming denier, which both journalists and other people have come out and said we're as bad as Holocaust deniers. So they were making Nazi illusions for the last seven years, and I finally had enough of it. Hmm. Well, I don't. So I said, I'm going to call you guys global warming Nazis, and I'll tell you why. That label sticks more than your label. Got you. It's because but your policies are going to kill millions of people. That's I. I think that stands at odds with most of the scientific research showing world, global warming poses a major threat to the world's poor. I mean, that's what the Pope is. Is, we are is, totally is talking about right now. at opposite ends of this discussion, so there's no point in us discussing. But you're in the three percent of scientists who don't agree with the consensus, right? So denial doesn't there necessarily no have to do with the Holocaust. Denial, you, can, you can deny anything. Did you see any of the talks? I've watched some of them. Yeah, I didn't see yours though, so I apologize for not seeing it. The but the ninety-seven percent is bogus. Well, I know it's not something that's convenient for this camp, but there have been redundant studies showing the 97 to 98 no, percent consensus, bullshit. and you don't fit into that, Dr. Spencer. That's so, bullshit. like, why, why, <laughs> why, why would I, why would I trust your your judgment, which has been pretty heavily marginalized for a couple decades over oh, that of the 97 percent of you know, 97 percent of stockbrokers will say you should buy stocks. <laughs> These people have a vested interest. But they're getting paid. To, they're I getting. They work. make money doing that. They make a lot of money doing that. So do these people. I you think, you think there's government. a massive global conspiracy government. among scientists to make a lot of money? They're not making bank exactly, they're but Charles and David business. Koch are making bank. ExxonMobil is making bank. They're trying and they're to, funding a lot of the people here. They're trying to stay in business. Yep. You don't not, think, I'm just saying they're not independent. They're not independent. And you are independent. How, how do you ensure your independence because, is maintained? Because I've been on both sides of this. I don't really care what the answer is. I'm just trying to say the science that's presented to the public is biased. I'm not saying it's wrong. 
It's possibly true, but I'm saying there's a whole other area of evidence that disagrees with it, and people are ignoring it. They need to know both sides. What would it take to convince you that it's that it's valid then, with 97 to 90 percent of experts studying it saying it, that it is a human-caused problem? Global temperatures are going to have to start going up again fairly rapidly in the next 10 years. But the overall trend already already proves that, right? I mean, I guess that's why the hockey stick was such an inconvenient photo, because you can isolate 15 years and say, hey, the temperature hasn't risen for 15 years. But that's not how climate science is studied. It's studied on, you know, centuries of data. The climate models on which all policy is being predicated are now at serious odds with observations on these time scales. Okay? So there's a huge disconnect. The modelers have not fixed their models, they're sticking to it. And is any of your research financed directly or indirectly by any vested interests? A coal company, an executive working it's all, at a fossil it's all fuel government, corporation? If you call that not a vested interest. No, it's hmm. all, all, all our research is financed either by federal government or state government. Which agencies finance this? NOAA, NASA, National Science Foundation. Well, actually, I've gotten very little NSF money and Department of Energy, so it's mainly NASA, NOAA, DOE. What do they think about your research? Because a lot of these agencies, like NOAA, is unequivocal that global warming is a problem. Yeah, but also they don't deny that the satellite shows that there hasn't been warming. Uh, they just sort of marginalize it, saying, well, you know, the, in fact, this is what Tom Carl has said with his recent paper. He says, well, you know, we live at the surface, you know, so that's what's important. But what he's, what he's neglecting, or ha isn't saying, purposely not saying, is that it's telling us something about the way the atmosphere works that isn't included in the climate models. And until the climate models are fixed, we won't have usable predictions of future climate. Okay, usable future predictions, but how about the hard data already showing a t global average temperature increase in the ocean, in the atmosphere? We have no idea how much of that is natural versus man-made. But they, they do know that. That has, that has been thoroughly studied. The, no, the, human fi the human fingerprint of fossil fuel burning is, there I mean, is that's, that's no, the whole story. That's hey, the whole story. You need to learn about this, okay? There is no fingerprint of human-caused warming. There is no human fingerprint of it. No. All warming due to any cause, all cooling to any cause, gives the same result. <laughs> this is, it this is where that 3% the of, the, of the pie chart it's, slice comes in. No, that's there's no, I, there, I don't know many reputable climate scientists. In fact, I don't know any reputable climate scientist who would say that. You get me in a room with somebody from the other side that knows what they're talking about and listen to us talk. Has that not happened yet? It's really hard. Why? I don't know. It's, they, they won't come to these meetings. You know, guilt by association, I guess. Or it's not necessarily productive. You don't get the sense that these are set up only to create a, a constant, here. create a constant from the other side sense of doubt. A previous meeting where we did a debate. But by and large, there is sides. not that 97% of people that are agreeing that climate you know, you change is a problem. Mentioning they're, they're not here. Why is that? Exist. Why is that? Well, it's because they don't want to, okay, for one thing, they risk losing their funding. Because once you become a skeptic, it's really hard to continue to get funding from the government. And that's where 99.9% .9 of the money comes from to fund climate work is from the government. And what's the logic there on the government's end? Why won't they fund oh, Lord. skeptics? Uh, that's such a complicated subject. And I got a feeling that you wouldn't believe me anyway, so. Huh. It seems like to me like it would a be a, a bad investment because the, the vast majority of research indicates that that's not, a, that's not something that would be worth pouring taxpayer money into. Global warming is already understood it to be happening by scientists and it that it, it's human activity that causes it. I tell you from it. when I used to work in the government, you find whatever reason you can to not only keep your job, but to grow your program. And that's what people in government do. But what of the con I, what of the clear conflict of interest with a lot of these organizations? Payments. There is no clear conflict of interest. Willie there's Soon no, took no Will, Dr. Willie Soon took over a million dollars from the American Petroleum Institute, the Charles Koch Foundation, Southern Company, that pales Donors in Trust. Comparison to what the other side gets. But by percentage of his funding, it is 100 percent controversial fossil fuel money. You know, that's like he got about thirty thousand a year, so that maybe went a third toward his toward his salary for ten years. And, but the grant amount from these interests was over a million since the year 2000. So, that figures out and, and no government grants, no other... Yeah, I'm talking about the university takes half of it. Okay. Harvard takes his research money? 
Yes. All research money that or comes Or Smithsonian, because that's complicated too. Harvard has been like, oh, we don't want to yeah, have anything they, to do with this guy. They take, they take, yeah, they take overhead. I mean, I really don't care what he did. To me, that doesn't matter a bit for the science. Well, uh, you're right, you're right. I did start the conversation on the second step. The first step is that his research has been debunked over and over. It's not considered valid. People know that it's, the scientists that have studied it know that it's humans that are pushing the climate beyond natural variability, not the sun. That's been addressed over and over. Oh, I don't necessarily agree with his theories. I, huh. I, don't, I don't think the sun is a major player. Oh, what would be? Natural cycles, Pacific decadal oscillation. We've published on this. Howdy. Hi. Connor Gibson. I work at Greenpeace. Yes. Nice oh. to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you. You're Roy Spencer. Hey, Steve. Steve Gaskin. Nice to meet you. I, I didn't know if you were just hanging around or uh, with nothing to do, so I was going to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Appreciate I, it. I, I didn't want to interrupt. But <laughs> no, no, go for it. You probably know better. Uh, I, all the wonderful studies that Bob mentioned.